Hello there guys and gals and welcome to another Games Leaving Game Pass slash how long do they take to beat slash are they easy slash is it worth blasting through slash you got any guides well she so let me tell you there are currently six confirmed games out of here on June of the 30th let's find out which is what and how easy they ought out anyway First up then is Elijah. Now this is around a four to five hour game with a three out of 10 difficulty. And it is a genuinely cracking game. So our main character gets stranded on an island and instead of lapping it up and enjoying life, decides to go on a murderous rampage with his legendary harpoon to find out what's happening. I mean, fair play, if it was me, I would just get drunk in paradise, but again, that's just me. Now in terms of achievements and completions, it is an easy one. The boss fights are, again, genuinely easy enough. Even the last boss, which seems to be quite super tricky, uh, does have an easy pattern, and which you can easily find out in Smash. Really enjoyable, and as I said, can be done in four to five hours. And Mr. Myself <laughs> has a guide ready just for you. Next up then, onto another brilliant game, Road 96. It looks beautiful, it plays brilliantly, and has some fantastic little stories to it. The only downside though, though, is that through the game, the mini levels are sort of randomized. Uh, now what happens in the levels are the same, but if you are looking at my guide, which I do have for you again, you will need to look through the timestamps to see what level is what. To me, if Road, if Road 96 is going, which it actually is, I am pretty much led to believe that the sequel to Road 96, Road 96 Mile Zero, I think that's what it's called, uh, which was released a few months ago, could be coming to Game Pass sooner rather than later. It's roughly between 6 to 8 hours long, and it's a 2 out of 10 com uh, difficulty completion, as the levels are very easy enough. So, next up then, we have Match Point Tennis Championships. Now, it depends on if you like the sport, uh, whether you'll enjoy the game or not. For instance, NHL and NFL games, I suck donkey cheese at them because I don't really follow it. But the same could be said for any sports. Uh, for sports and sports games, baseball, cricket, etc. And pretty much tennis is just like it. If you're into it, you will get used to it quick. If not, it'll take a little while, but once you are used to it, it's actually quite an easy game, especially when you put it on amateur difficulty. It becomes um, cheesy breezy, if not a little tedious at times. You do have to win 25 matches online, although people have reported it's glitched in a good way. So you may need to do only around seven matches, which is noisy slicey. Uh, so you're looking at around 15 to 20 hours to complete this and it's about a 3 out of 10 difficulty rate Which is pretty much what I think to this game of hitting your small balls in your opponent's face Now on to Amori and it's to be honest it's another relatively easy sort of 3 out of 10 difficulty But it does take a while and why may you ask does it take so long? Well, you will need to complete two playthroughs but it is a fun roleplay and turn-based game. I mean, the game itself does depict scenes of depression, anxiety, and suicide. So in that sense, it's depressingly fun, in a way. Right? Mm -hmm. Anyway, on to the achievements. Now, there's a lot to take in, in terms of randomness and specific routes that you have to be on in order to grab the good or the bad ending. Uh, now, there is a brilliant walkthrough on true achievements if needed, because if you miss something or mess something up, it may mess up your whole playthrough, uh, put you on a different route, so if you just pay attention to that, you'll be fan just fan. Now, we have to basically put on our big, big people pants because, oh boy, if you want to be 100%ing Empire of Sin before it leaves, start now and do not stop. This, of course, depends on how much you really enjoy the strategy, management, and turn based games. For me personally, not that dull. So, I pretty much suck donkey cheese again but there are plenty of achievements in which <laughs> in this game which you will need to win as many different characters kill a whole bunch of bosses beat the game with no one in your crew dying plus a lot of various miscellaneous achievements for in-game stuff to be honest the game does look genuinely fantastic and if again if you're into those type of games definitely worth your time but remember it is around an 8 out of 10 difficulty completion and around 60 to 70 hours or so to complete so Good luck with them late nights. And finally, pretty much one of the genuinely hardest completions on the Xbox. If you want to go for this, you will basically need to abandon all friends and especially family. Got any of your kids' birthdays coming up? Well, celebrate it after June the 30th. Do you have any important work stuff? Cancel it and book time off because this is ridiculous, as fun as the actual game is. 
So very much like a guitar hero, etc, etc, this is just a music game in which we have to hit notes and, well, you know, do good. Achievements, though, are pretty nuts. A lot of complete this and that with an S rank and all types of various stuff. Uh, you've got to get over a thousand combos, um, which seems very easy, actually. Um, clearing patterns with perfect, accomplishing, it's like 99,999,000 combos or something like that. So, yeah, the devs literally went, 999 combo? Nah, let's go more. More A ranks? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. It's S rank or nutting. So yeah, they took a normal achievement list, fed it some steroids and went nuts with it. There are also a lot of DLC achievements, which is kind of a plus. So you could still potentially get at least a thousand gamer score before June the 30th out of the 3,200 available. But only three people have completed it on true achievements anyway. There may be some more. So if you are going for it, good luck and I will actually pay you money if you complete it. So there we have a nice variety of easy and short, long and what the fuck is that difficulty? Will you be playing or completing any of these before the end of the month? Let me know and thank you so much once again for watching. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and YouTube members. I'll see you in the next one. Big love from the big dog.